All right, guys and girls, this is James Watson here again in uh, rural South Georgia, volunteer firefighter. I've done a couple videos before with my truck. I uh, just added a few new things, so just wanted to show those off a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I do have the two 4200 minis here, one for the siren, one for the lights. Uh, the reason I went with the two 4200 minis versus the 14200 full size is just simply price. Uh, but I've got the interior fusion light bar and 800 fusion light stick in the back and have several T3s on here as well. Just added um, two T3s to the front side and uh, a speed turtle. So I uh, just kind of wanted to show everybody. Um, so we'll get out here and take a look. Um, I'll start here in the front. And as I said before in some of the videos, um, got the 180 degrees on the two outside modules on uh, the interior light bar and then the 40 degrees on the others. Added the uh, little T3 here on the side of the brush guard today. Um, found uh, ultra bright lights had a hood mount. And so instead of putting it up on the hood, I put it on the side of the grill guard. I don't know if you've ever tried to drill any holes in these grill guards, but they're extremely tough, which that's what they're designed for. Uh, so just use the uh, hood mount, turn it sideways, put it there on the grill guard. And then I also have the uh, speed turtle, which I also got from Ultra Bright Lights. Um, we've got it doing the high beams fog lights, turn signals, and these two uh, little white pod lights I got here. Um, originally, I had the fog lights and these little white LED lights uh, hooked to the 4200 Mini Wigwag, uh, but the way I had them hooked up, when I turned the speed turtle on, it would flash the uh, white ones as well, so I've just got that hooked in there. Uh, now, the light in the center, um, that came from Strobes and More. Um, I don't remember if it's their brand or if it's a different brand, but it will also do steady burn white like a flood light So I can use it as well as those two white pods there as uh, takedowns or scene lights, whatever you want to call it uh, then Here again on the other side the other t3 that I added um, And uh, speed turtle headlight flashers there as well uh, a little bit I was a little disappointed with the speed turtle. I was hoping that it would flash the lights, the turn lights here in the uh, mirrors because it said it would on some vehicles, but apparently on this vehicle it wouldn't. And that's one of the main reasons I bought it. But you live and learn. Uh, now, the and since I've thrown some shout outs here, my all of my interior, my all of my Phoenix lights, they have come from uh, Siren World, uh, is where I've ordered those from. There's several several dealers out there but uh, that's just where I've got one thing I like about them you can order online because I don't have a dealer close by got one t3 here on the side of my toolbox give me some additional side lighting uh, come around to the back and we've got four t3s on the toolbox and then the 800 interior light stick or fusion light stick rather that's mounted on the interior uh, then we've got the speed turtle doing the tail lights and reverse lights. And I don't know what's up with the lighting today. It's not really showing up too good on the camera here, so the tail lights aren't. But uh, so that's it. This is a 2016 Ram 1500 four wheel drive, as you can see there. And come around, we've got the other T3 on this side. So. I think I'm probably going to be finished now uh, with my setup. I've got it set up pretty much the way I want it. But a uh, nice little treat for y'all today. I know we've got a lot of firefighters out there that watch these stuff, these videos. Uh, I actually borrowed the uh, fire station to put those lights in today. So I'll show you this. This is our uh, newest vehicle, or one of our newest vehicles. Uh, this is our new tanker. It's a 4,500 gallon tanker mounted on an old military truck. Uh, I say old, it's like an 06 model. Um, this is our main station here. Um, we do have two other satellite stations 
which the county just bought some uh, 1993 engines, uh, E1 engines to go in. Uh, but I'll just take a little peek inside the station here. We're nothing fancy, but uh, we get the job done. This is our uh, engine, if you will. It's a front mount pump. This is an old uh, Georgia Forestry truck. They uh, put a front mount pump in the tank. That's a 2,500 gallon tank on it. Uh, and then over on this side, we have our, uh, what we call a knocker truck. Uh, it's, uh, again, another 2,500-gallon uh, tank. Uh, it just has a little um, gasoline-powered pump back here on the back. Um, but this, uh, this here is kind of our, our favorite, if you will. Um, she has been over to uh, Waycross. Uh, when they several years ago when they had the first big fire over in an Okie Finoki swamp and uh, She was one of the favorite trucks over there. She hauls a lot of water, but she's short You can get her in and out wherever you need her to go uh, And she'll run 72 mile an hour so you can get there in a hurry, too um, but uh, This is our tanker again, but this is we are like I said we are our rural South Georgia and you can see there's trees all the way around us the reason we have such big tanks on our trucks is whatever water we have is what we have where sometimes we can find a pond or something to get some water out of or we have got out of a swimming pool but uh what water we take with us mostly is what water we have so we try to take as much with us as we can but hope i hadn't bored y'all too much but uh Again, uh, just wanted to show off the uh, speed turtle and the new intersection lights, if you will, here on the front. Uh, so that I added today. But, uh, hope y'all have a great day. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, God bless.